what's up you guys it's your girl dominique and i'm back with another video and today i have a very special guest with me i have my husband with me hey. Hey, okay. <laughs> so what up what up y'all my name is david yes mm -hmm. mr david okay all right so let's do this Today, basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to do like a, um, a how we met Q&A and also a mukbang because uh, we have some Nigerian okay. food. We're going to eat it. We're going to try it. Okay. So basically, we <laughs> both of us were foodies. So, yes. <laughs> so, first of all, what we're having today is from... Black Bell. Black Bell and Lecky. So I'll leave their description in down below. But we have um like a shrimp Alfredo. Shrimp Alfredo. We have mm, saw a lot of stuff still. We have shrimp jollof rice and snail. Periwinkle, aka snails, yeah. aka I'm not eating. She don't like slime stuff, but I be real African man, you know, you know. So I got chop snails. I don't know. I might, I might try it. We gonna see. We we'll gonna see. <laughs> I told you it's good, but it's not slimy as your African mistakes. You know, it's it's dry, it's prepared. You know, the seasonal way to some biliting meat. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Okay, so we have some Titus fish. Um, pretty much, this is the fish that I've been eating since I've been here in Nigeria. Like okay. Oh, croaker. Okay. And then lastly, we have curry rice and beans, and we have some pepper, pepper sauce for my husband. Yes, see, yeah. you see, I like pepe. I mean, come on, she doesn't eat pepe at all, like at all the time. Uh, 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 okay. So, do we want to dig in first or we want to start answering some questions? Uh, let's, just, eat let's just talk alongside, you know, what we eat it. Okay. Okay. So, first things first, let me just kind of give a little like backstory. So, basically, um, last week I moved to Lagos and then on Saturday, this past Saturday was our actual wedding, so we just got married on Saturday, so. We are the <laughs> Yes, and we are still fresh in this thing, you know. And um, I'm originally from South Carolina. Y'all know this about me. I'm fr originally from South Carolina. Um, and my husband is Nigerian from Nigeria. Delta State Warri. Yes. Warri area. <laughs> <laughs> so when yeah. we met, we were uh, we were actually long distance. So I was still in America. He was he's here still yeah. in Nigeria. Um, and so yeah, now we're here together. But we'll kind of fill in the space a little bit. So. Okay, you want to go ahead? How do we meet? Okay. <laughs> Let's just get Okay, so on a very good day, it was, I was at the office and then I was working at Echo Pearl. So I used to be the security supervisor of Echo Pearl in the Quad Lounge. So. Oh my God, it's so good. So good. Okay, that's nice. So as I was saying, um, that day I was at the office, I was at the office and trying to, so, I was just doing a check on my Instagram and just, you know, normal day life, gamma life. You observe my environs on my Instagram and social media. And then I just saw somebody like my post, you know, randomly. And I saw it was this beautiful soul out here. And I was like, hmm, who's this? Who is she? And, okay, so long story short. I hit that DM after checking her profile and amazing bro, she was sweet. And I checked her profile. Mmm, feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. <laughs> I was captivated by love. Oh mu me say. Catch me, she ah You know, first off it was her smile. 
And secondly, it was that charisma, you know, the way she carried herself, the way she she started on that post and stuff. So I was like, man, this girl got the kind of style I like. Cool. You know, start up page some Nigerian girls, and then she respond to me. I just hit her DM. Hello, my dear. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> so, apparently, yeah, I slid into her DM. But I usually tell people I'm on you know, I'm on work, I'm on like a justice type. Okay, that's his version. So what happened was, he slid in a DM and got stuck. For life. So, <laughs> well, not quite for life just yet. When he originally sent, okay, so basically how it happened is, I like to go on Instagram and like check out different areas. I had already been planning on moving to Africa. So I was already exploring the different countries and I like to go on Instagram to, you know, check it out real time. So I was just checking out Lagos, Nigeria because that was one of the places that I had been looking at to move to. And I had just been liking pictures in Lagos, Nigeria. Came across his profile, of course, and liked the picture. Didn't even really recognize that I was liking it because I was just going back and liking. So then once he sent me the message, I saw when he sent me the message the first time, but because I am a little skeptical of people who, you know, slide in DMs, especially from, you know, African countries, I'm just like, eh, eh. <laughs> Let you sit there for a second. So mm -hmm. he sat in the DM for like three days. Three days, my brother. Three days and three nights. I was fasting and praying. God, please, please, please. Let's have some fun. You know. So yeah, three days later, I finally decided to respond. So I was just like, okay, well, I respond to him. Hey, how you doing? Um, and then after that, he started to you know chat me up a bit and. The rest, I guess, is kind of history. I wasn't, you know, I didn't jump all the way in there, but, you know, we started talking small, small. Mm -hmm. but, <laughs> and I was persistent. I don't give out space. Yes, very, very hey, much so. Do you want to try this? It's see. actually good. So, like, I thought it was going to be too, like, because it's a little too soupy. I don't think you want to have that snail. It's too spicy. Yeah, it looks spicy. Mm. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all gotta catch up. This right here is actually pretty good. Yeah. Whatever way she used to tell me about the Nigerian food good and that that that. But no, when she came to Lagos, it was different. She saw that it was a city city vibe, you know. Yeah, like if I had to describe Lagos, like, well, okay, so here where we are in Lekki, I would describe that vibe as South Beach. It's very South Beach vibe, it's, you know, city is by the water, it's on an island, so, you know, it's got that, that type of vibe, you know, South Beach vibe. And then there's another part of, of the island part of Lagos, uh, Ikoi, Right, baby. Ikoi. That reminds me of actual like Miami City. You know what I'm saying? So that's like the more city part, more urban city part. But it's still by the, you know, still by the water, still by the it's beach and everything. Yes. Yeah, so that's the type of vibe that I get with that one. Um. But I mean, so far, so you Lagos know. Yeah, so far it's good. It's pretty good. You come to Lagos, come to Nigeria, you know, you might find your next person. So what do you think about Nigeria men sliding in DMs? Mm -hmm. See that not all of us are totally crazy and bad. As a social media or online we have it. <laughs> <laughs> She's in love. Listen. What I'm gonna say is, I looked up. <laughs> Cause I can't speak for all Nigerians. Okay, so, how long have we been dating? Okay. Okay, how long have we been dating? Um, a 
Okay, so the day that he slid into my DM was June not 9th. <laughs> It was June 9th. I replied back June 12th. I would say we made it official probably a month after. July, July 12th. Yeah. We made it official probably a month after. But the thing is, see, from the very beginning of our relationship, we knew that we were going to be working towards marriage, right? So we didn't want to get into a relationship that was not going to lead into marriage. So we kind of set that tone from the beginning. Yeah. So when we did make it official, it wasn't like, oh, you're officially my girlfriend. It was like, you're officially- The person I want to marry. Right, like, mm -hmm. you're my beloved and I intend to marry you and you know, that's what, cause I told him from the beginning, like, I don't want to be nobody's girlfriend. I'm about to be 30 years old. Like, I'm not, I'm too old to be somebody's <laughs> girlfriend, okay? Like, nah, we not doing none of that. Yeah. So. And personally, I already had the view of, yes, it's okay. I already had the view of what I wanted from life. And at that point in time of my life, I wasn't just looking for a girl to date, you know? I was already doing pretty well for myself. And I was like, oh, God. strong. I was like, damn, <laughs> I need somebody to trust, you know, somebody that could just show all this love, you know, and everything. And when she came, somehow, some way, I already knew because I'd seen it in my dream, but I didn't want to fuse her with everything I want, so I just took it step by step. And of course, we made God the center of our relationship because, for one, from where I'm from, my parents, they taught me how to trust in God and serve with all my heart. So I'm, I'm a believer and I believe in putting God first in everything I do. So I did put God, we did put God first in this. That's why we're together right now. So, like, the, like, okay, so I responded back to him a month later was when we kind of made it like official then maybe four months into our relationship was when he you know actually asked me to marry him like okay like i'm gonna marry you for sure like <laughs> <laughs> so and then now we've actually only been together for six months before we got married so we just got married on saturday and yeah before that we was together for about six months. six months so we officially did it for six months before we married yeah and so. do you know what funny truth <laughs> i always wanted to meet the love of my life in six months i get married to her in six months I, and you know what i agree too because i've never wanted to like be in a relationship that was like you know we're together for five years then we're engaged for another two or three years that's wasted time you, yeah like nobody wants to do that but so. we're engaged for like four years that's great. Yeah, nah. So I mean, yeah. Um all I have to say is ladies when he know, he knows. If you know, you know, okay? And when a man knows that you the one for him and you know what I'm saying, like he's gonna know and it's not gonna take him five years and six years and all of this, especially Trust I believe me. with Nigerian men. Trust me, it's not gonna take him up to a month to you know. It's not gonna take him up to two weeks to you know. It didn't take me up to two weeks to know. Yeah, like, <laughs> that was one of the things, like, he started acting, like, maybe a couple of weeks after we started talking or whatever. Honestly, probably a couple of days, I want to say. He started acting like he knew something that I didn't know. And I'm just like, what are you up to? <laughs> I'm a man of God. I'm a man of God. <laughs> so, actually, I just saw in my dream that you know she came and we got married so i didn't want it to be like i was just have the dream you know that kind of thing now just tell her my dream and she'd be like oh okay because that's in your dream now you think we're going to get married and all that <laughs> so, i just right because god didn't give me that dream because i just i just saw that and i kept it myself so i was like okay god if this is it then you're gonna have to tell it to her too without me saying it and that was it you know Somehow, some way, day by day, we, we grew stronger. 
So usually I used to be able to I used to tell God that if I'm in a relationship that is not good for me, I'll just pray this prayer. I'll be like, God, if this person is not good for me, just take this person out of my life. Same. Me too. I, I started doing that. Like, once I gave my life to Christ, everything that I did, Lord, if this person is not meant to be in my life, whether it be a friend or, you know, relationship-wise, that was always my prayer. And yeah, this is the only woman I couldn't pray out of my life. So. And vice versa. <laughs> like, when I prayed, I mean, because I wasn't so... Mm -hmm. Because I wasn't so sold, let me say, in the beginning. Um, you know, I was like a little like... Mm. Skeptical. I don't know about those dudes. <laughs> like he fine, fine, and he from Nigeria, mm -hmm, he and he know how to dress. Like, why he don't have a Niger why he don't have a Nigerian girlfriend already? Like, uh, -uh. I don't know about him. <laughs> but um, you know, just like he said, you know, we we prayed about it, and I definitely prayed about it. And after a while, God was just like, you know, it's okay. You can you can trust him. And that was even something that he always said to me, like, don't trust me, trust God. And of course, because I'm just human, you know. I'm just human and yeah. God leads. So God is leading me to this. He sure is gonna lead you to. Yeah. So he's gonna tell you to and tell me yes. But now you can trust me. Alongside you trust God. Yes, I can <laughs> Come here. Yes. Yes, you do. What should we have to mm -hmm. It's good with the fish, baby. It is? Mm -hmm. That's really good. Mm. Oh my gosh. Napa does take lights. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is one of the things to experience in Nigeria. In Nigeria. Napa go take lights. Napa go check it out. You just said that really. Where did it come from? <laughs> I don't know, I just said it. Yeah, baby, you've been coming up with a lot of different stuff. In culture. Ah, wow. Mm -hmm. Ah, many... wow. <laughs> what do you have many moves now? She's never up to two weeks, so. She never did two weeks for Nigeria complaints. Huh. I've been mean, nice, check it out. Mm, okay. <laughs> I'm assuming that the light is kind of okay. Sorry about the light change. But we have no electricity right now. So. Oh, uh, it's good to see us. Mm-hmm. Okay, so the next question is, um, you know, basically what were we doing before we met each other. Hmm. Quick one. I met her the day I lost my job at the Quad mm. Quick one. <laughs> she became my job after I left after I left the Coppel. Yeah, she became my job. <laughs> I was working on her 24-7 of the day. Like, we got talking, catching up on each other, mm -hmm. planning, you know, trying to get used to our family and mine and all that. And trust me, it was not easy. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I too had lost my job, but I lost my job maybe. Two or three months prior to when we started talking, um, so I had lost my job. I was working at a hotel at the time, and 
after that i started kind of just working from home and then i also had like some savings and stuff like that so i kind of just was working from home i was also working on my blogging and my youtube and all that stuff trying to get situated with that so okay so speaking of families um that's also another question that we get is you know well how does your family feel about it and all this and all that and <clears throat> at first we kind of had family members who didn't support they did support and then they kind of were skeptical because i feel like maybe they didn't think that either one of us was were real like on both sides like he had some people friends and family who didn't think that i was a real person and then vice versa um like even when we announced that we were getting married you know some people didn't receive the announcement announcement well because we weren't together so we had to kind of put our pictures together and, and that was what we used to do our announcement at first mm. part of truth people thought i was lying you know they said that our picture was photoshopped together and they were like hmm my guy where do you go pick smicks you have your wife picture <laughs> Come put us in one marriage. It's actually that happened. We won't marry us for online. I mean, I'll ask her for me at this. But, you know, man, God is great, and that's all I can say. Mm -hmm. I mean, for the most part, like, our families were, like, our close families, our immediate family was pretty receptive. So, like, from the very beginning once i told my family like my mom my sisters and, and all of us because we're really close once i told them about him we all made a group chat and we were all in a group chat together they talked to him freely you know got to know him they asked him questions they did whatever it is that they had to do to make them feel good about it and you know for the most part everybody was pretty receptive to our relationship after they you know met both of us talked to both of us like once i met his parents and everything like that you know they kind of started to see that you know not only am i a real person but what we have the connection that we have is real you know and not only is it real but it's god ordained you know this isn't just something that we came up with on our own you know what i want to tell my father about myself and my wife and I'm new. When I got there, mm -hmm, myself and my wife, a baby. <laughs> so when I got to my parents that day, before I got talking about the relationship I was in, my dad called me because I, I sat down, I was talking to my mom and dad. My mom and dad were like, okay, there's something that God showed us that we have to tell you. And I'm like, okay, so what y'all talking about? And then my father said um, he had a dream that a girl from the United States came and we both got married and it was so colorful that people celebrated us and that, 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 that. And how long ago was this before that he told you? This was dream? like three weeks into our relationship. Mm -hmm. Three weeks into our relationship, three weeks into meeting her. Okay. And I was like, <laughs> Okay, so that was right around the time when he started acting like he knew something. Mm hmm. Okay, that mm -hmm. explains that. Okay. <laughs> so, when that happened, I was like, Okay, I already know this, but I ain't gonna say nothing yet. Then I'm just gonna chill and just give it time, you know, and as God we have it. She came. <laughs> she came, my bride, she came. <laughs> she came in the European Airways. Ah! You don't be a lot of people. Utopia, Utopia, I will show you. My love, you are special, you know? I'm talking. Yeah, I had to travel basically 33 hours in flight, two days of worth of travel. But no, that's what you do for love. <laughs> that's what you do for love. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, I appreciate that a lot. That's why I don't choke you and I don't, I don't 
I don't want to see her cry ever. You know, I just, just want to be a good man. man. Uh -huh. take, care, take care of her. Yes, now. I love her. Mm -hmm. I love her. Mm. Listen, do you hear this? You hear the sweet mouth mm. from the Nigerian man. <laughs> I love her more. I feel shoot best for her more. I'm not here now. Mm. Better not come close, man. <laughs>